That was so sweet, wasn't it? Um, thank you so much, uh, WSJ Magazine. Thank you for, um, for this honor in my adopted city, uh, New York City. Um, I just want to say it's really fitting that my dear friend, Amir Questlove, um, uh, gave me this award because, um, first of all, they need to invent another category for him. He's not an innovator. He's something on another level. That's just, that's just like outer space level. Um, but, you know, he was speaking about what has always been intrinsically in me, whether I liked it or not, which is I was raised by musicians. Um, and music was always a part of my life, and I just thought it was normal, you know. Um, and I think deep down, uh, I think, look, comedians and musicians want to be each other. We always have. Um, every tour bus of a musician, everybody's quoting Larry David, and everybody knows every Curb Your Enthusiasm episode. Um, because I think that they are, they are un untangible skills. They're just inside of you. Um, I don't know how the hell it's inside of me, but I think it is genetic. I think I have a musical ear. And I also was raised by this beautiful interracial couple that told me I could be anything. And so I thought I was. And I really do think I'm, anytime I see someone, I, I've never been an impressionist. But every time I see someone, I get excited and I think, oh, I can do that. <laughs> like, hopefully you'll see Kate Moss soon. <laughs> um, and it would be my honor because I come from a place where I fantasize. You know, I play Beyonce because I love Beyonce. I want to be Beyonce. But there's some weird mechanism in my brain that says, you can. So I do it. And it got me, you know, in a place that I had, I, I had dreamt of, that I loved. I grew up in Los Angeles, in Laurel Canyon, and, and you know, uh, my hippie parents were watching Saturday Night Live, and I was like, that looks fun. I want to go to New York City. And I did. Um, because I've always just kind of stayed in my own lane, because there was no lane for me. I had to make my own lane. Um, so I did. And I have to say, like, it's really nice to be around for a while because I think good people like WSJ and people are really recognizing that. And that makes me feel really good because I like comedy because it's definitely soothed me from a lot of things. And I think um, the feedback I get from people, especially lately in these very strange times, has been so incredible. Um, you know, thank you, you've, you know, you've cheered me up, or you've saved me from this, or I watch you in bed, which is always like, okay. Um, <laughs> but that I'm um, something that brings people joy, and I never thought about it that way. So, because it's always brought me joy. So, I'm really grateful for that. Um, and um, not just for the lady that took a shit in the street, that I'm so much more. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you.